Hey guys, this is Deb with Art and Grace, and I just wanted to say thank you um, for joining me today. We're gonna paint a cute Christmas truck. You probably already saw, but this is what we'll be painting today. <coughs> and I'm so sorry, bear with me, because I've got um, a really bad cough that, um, I've had it for three weeks, and it just seems to be getting a little worse, so bear with me. Um, <coughs> Hopefully you have had a chance to do some of the other uh, projects that we've had. They've all been so cute. I've done a few and I plan to go back and do the rest. Hey, Tracy, I wanted to see if some people are on. Hi, Stephanie. <coughs> Excuse me. Y'all say a prayer for my voice because I'm coughing like crazy. Anyway, um, hi, Jamie. Glad you're here. Cincinnati. So where's everybody from? I know uh, Louisiana for Tracy. I know Stephanie's in Texas. As you pop on, tell me where you're from so that <clears throat> I can see. I like to know, you know, how far these videos get. Anyway, hopefully you've got your stuff ready. Um, I did want to, <coughs> excuse me, let me look at this. I want to get you pulled up on my, on my laptop. So hopefully I can see your comments. So just <clears throat> bear with me and Put in the comments here where you're watching from if you pop on. Hi, Melissa. So tell us where you are, Melissa. And the rest of y'all can put it too because <coughs> not everybody's going to know where you're from. Oh, I need help with this call for sure. Okay, so hopefully you have downloaded your um, tracer and put that onto your canvas. I've got mine right here. And is anybody, what are you, if, if anybody's painting with me, what are you painting on? Wood, canvas, a sack, you know, a cardboard. Hi, Shelly. Yes, I'm so glad you're here. Hi, Terry from Amarillo. Cool. I didn't know you were in Amarillo. And Melissa, Kentucky. Isn't it fun to see where everybody's from? I love it. <clears throat> anyway, um, also, there are three other printables just for fun in my unit. Uh, the Christmas DIYs, which you could use, you know, with this whole thing, you could write down, here's what I need from the store because I want to do this truck painting or whatever. And then <clears throat> Christmas purchases. Funny story, but usually every year I buy something on, oh, I buy mostly online, so I buy it and I hide it when it comes in. And then two months after Christmas, I'll find something. So last year I started this list and I'll write down what I bought. You know, once I get it in, it's in the closet, such and such in the closet, or such and such in the office, or whatever, because I'll hide them different places. I don't know. I think it's an over 50 thing, but anyway, if you want one of these lists, it's, it's for you. And then ideas for Christmas, because every now and then throughout the year, one of my kids will mention, oh, I really want that, or whatever. So, I'll put their name, and then what they mentioned, and usually I'll use one for everybody and just put what it is. But anyway, go print those if you haven't yet, because that's something fun to do, and an easy way to keep track of stuff. Let me look at your comments real quick. I think I think I'm caught up. Is anybody painting with me? Do me do a heart if you're painting. Throw up a heart, and then if you're um, if you're gonna paint later, throw up a what's another one? Do the hug if you're gonna paint later. Do the hug. And if you're painting now, do a heart. Hey, Christinda, I'm so glad you're here. Good. Are you going to paint with us, anybody? I'm not seeing any hearts or hugs. So maybe nobody's painting, but maybe you'll get inspired and do it later or at least um, can show somebody else how to do it. So let's go ahead and get started. And I'm going to move you down to my... Um, Hey, Angel, are you going to paint? I'm so glad. And tell everybody where you're from. And Kristen, to you too, if you don't mind. I like seeing, hey, Rita. I love seeing where you guys are from. And I saw Jamie did that yesterday. And um, it's just really cool to see. So even if you're watching the replay, just type in where you're from. Because um, I love to see how far we go and who else. You know, <clears throat> this Christmas truck is super trendy in Texas and we all love it. And I like to see if, like, in Pennsylvania or New York, if they think it's cool, too. So, little delay. Okay. Oh, I'm so glad, Kristen. That's so funny. Let me tell you a secret. I used to, when I worked full-time, I'd prop up my phone and put it on a video, and I'd have it, like, 
propped up, but to where people couldn't see it. And I mean, I would work because I was a workaholic, but um, I, would, I could still see what's going on. So yeah, there's ways if we want to be a part. I'm going to put you down so you can see what I'm going to do. And hopefully you can see well. Let me see if I can prop that up somewhere where you can see. Sort of that. Okay. Maybe a shadow, but <clears throat> can everybody see okay? Is the picture good? Throw up some likes or hearts or something if you can see everything you need to see. So go ahead and just pour out little bits of your paint. Um, for now, you need black and white. I usually, you can buy gray, um, but I just usually mix my own and just mixing the black and white till I get a, a gray color that I want. Now, if you want your buffalo plaid to be black, then just use straight black. You could do it any color, in fact. So you might want red, so do that. I kind of like the, um, you know, a little bit of a muted light gray right now for me. So that's what I'm gonna do. I did it in the black and it was okay, but I think I'm more of a gray for this. Okay, so then you're going to take a flat brush, and then hopefully you can see on that that it's just a small flat brush. I see a few more have popped on, so if you don't mind leaving us a comment, I want to know where you're from. Like I was telling them, Jamie did that yesterday, and it was super fun to see where everybody lives and just, you know, if they're interested in these kind of projects in other locations. I think Texas is full of crafters. So then I'm gonna, I don't wanna start um, right at the top, but I'll start just almost at the top and just kinda, you can be as neat or as messy as you want to. I kinda like, well, I like both. It just depends on my mood, I think. But I'm gonna go kind of neat if I can. So just go slow and just drag your paintbrush across. Now see, you might like that really faded look. I think that's cute. So you can do it faded and just simple, or you can go ahead and do, darken it in. If you want to be an overachiever, you can tape off, and I've done that. I've, um, I should find that. I've got it right over against the wall. I've got one that I did last year, and I taped everything off, and it's really cute. But for these whimsical paintings, I, I just don't care to get perfect. I think they are whimsical and people expect it to not be perfect. And I think, you know, my name, <clears throat> excuse me guys, my business name <coughs> is Art and Grace. And that's where the grace comes in. You know, like this is just fun and art is for anybody. So have grace with yourself. It does not have to be perfect. It's all about <clears throat> just losing yourself in something creative, having, you know, a fun release to your problems. We know we all are having issues with this corona. We, we keep calling it this time in our, you know, in history, whatever. It is a, it's a bad year. We can say that it is. It's not been fun. A lot of people sick. <clears throat> a lot of people have lost jobs. There's a lot of hurting right now. So art is something that will just take your mind off of it. You guys agree? Anybody that's here that does art regularly, I know you'll be able to attest that art just, it has some kind of healing properties and you just forget the issues of the world and the problems. And yeah, right, Kathy. Oh good, I can see your comments. I'm so happy. Hi, Michelle, glad you're here. Hi, Marley from Oklahoma. Bev from Michigan, that's so cool. What's the temperature in Michigan, y'all? Tell me. It's probably 104 here now. <laughs> it's gotta be close to 100 today in Texas, I don't know. Just reach a point where every day you know it's 100 at least. Maybe more. So anyway, I'm just going across, you know, kind of what I call kind of careful, but not too, too worried about it. I would like it to be somewhat straight, but it's definitely not meant to be perfect. 
And I think that's part of the appeal that these whimsical pieces have is, you know, it's a simpler time. You know, it's not a lot of, you know, tons of effort. It's just having fun creating something and that appeals to us, a lot of us anyway. I love fine art, I appreciate it. And I definitely love to see it and to, um, just to see what, what people can do with a paintbrush is amazing. And I do work, you know, I always work on improving my art skills, but I think I'm just drawn to the more whimsical style because it's very achievable for all of us. And it doesn't take a whole lot of practice before you're doing it great. Oh, it's the mid eighties y'all in, where was that, uh, Michigan? Where'd you say, Beth? Tina from California, how are you today? It's so hot in Louisiana, they don't have a number for it. That's how I feel about Texas, y'all. I wanna go back, cause I forgot where Bev was from. Well, I can't see it. I can't go back for some reason, but I'll have to look later. I can't remember where you said you were from. Can you guys see this good? Okay. So I'm just getting these lines on there. No. Um, no stress to be perfect, just kind of, you can see, I mean, I'm going kind of up, kind of down, it's okay. It's going to be cute at the end, and that's what matters. Okay, so now those are actually probably close to dry because I don't use a whole lot of paint on, on those lines. I mean, I'm not putting it on super thick, so then I'm ready to go and just turn it and do the other side. This time I'm going to start on that. And as you can see, I'm just eyeballing it, just back and forth, just kind of as close to, you know, making it even as I can, but not worrying about it at all. It, oh, well, from the Aaron, 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 I can't say that word, y'all. And Shelly, I'm using a 11 by 14. I actually was gonna use a 12 by 12 and this one's a 12 by 12. But um, I knew a lot of people had told me they were gonna use 11 by 14. So this one's 11 by 14. I've done it on both. But I did wanna show, uh, thanks for mentioning that because here's the 12 by 12. So you can see the 11 by 14 is just a little weirder, different shape and it's gonna be just as cute. So that's why, I, so I'm glad you mentioned that. You can always take this tracer and reduce it and put it on a card or a stocking or an ornament, or you can enlarge it and make a door hanger. And there's a lot you can do when you get a design that you like. The person that taught, <clears throat> excuse me guys, the person that taught me how to do this was Heidi Easley. She owns Texas Art and Soul. Her, um, her page is amazing. If you don't, a lot of the girls in this group are, are um, taught by her and we, she's kind of a mentor to some of us. So if you have never heard of her, go check out Texas Art and Soul because she does these really cute, fun, whimsical art. And she's the person who <clears throat> really taught me to let go and just quit trying to be, I was always trying to be perfect. and. I do a lot of these, let me find one here. I do a lot of these florals. Um, that's kind of my go-to, what I like to do. And I would just, I can't tell you how many I would throw away. And I just would, could not get it how I wanted it. And once I, once I really understood the joy of art, instead of, you know, it being like needing to be perfect, man, it made all the difference. And now I enjoy these as well as the florals and stuff. I'm just looking to see if there's any comments. I know I've missed some and I'll go back. So Tina, you're gonna paint later? Yeah. Oh, Rhonda, you're in Hawaii, how nice. Oh, Joyce, you can't get yours to print. Any, hi Tammy, person. anybody else on here have any trouble printing? 
I sure hate that. I don't know um, why, because I, I tested it and I printed one, so I would like to know if anybody else had trouble, but I'm sorry, and if you're not able to paint right now, um, we will definitely get it figured out, so message me if you don't, because I hate that. When you get near one of these, you know, things, it's okay if you go over a little. It's not going to hurt one thing. And you see, I'm not being too careful. I'm just kind of slapping it on here. And you'll see. See? I mean, it's just fine. It's cute. It's whimsical. No big. Okay. So now, while I have um, this gray, and I actually, if you have chalk paint, I love using chalk paint for a base to things. And I'll show you why. If you don't have it, just use what you have. Use white or gray if you want. But um, when you use this chalk paint, it's thicker. And you can see the consistency. I'll focus. But it's much thicker. So when you, I'm gonna do this window to show you. It just goes on easy and it dries fast. So it's just a good base coat for anything. So you could put this under any color and it makes a very good base. And you don't have to use as much of your colored paint. So if you happen to have a whole lot of this, then that's good. I'll put it on my tires because I know those are gonna be silver. A round brush is usually good for these, but I'm using what's in my hand. It's another thing. Um, you know, when you are painting and somebody says, you'll need this brush, this brush, and this brush. Um, if you don't have it, don't worry about it. Use what you have. You could do this whole painting with really two brushes, but this is probably all I'm gonna use the whole time. So, that, I used to also think I had to go out and buy everything, and you don't have to do that. Use what you have. Okay, so I'm gonna make some, uh, this is gonna be the base for our snow. So I'm gonna want snow here. Under the tires, under the truck. You guys, um, oh good, Tammy, you said yours printed good. You love the cow shelly? Oh, thanks. Yeah, I had fun painting that and drawing the hair. I could do better, but I did have fun doing her hair. You had to resize to fit the printer and then it printed. Okay, so Tina, you had to resize it. So maybe that, hi Lori. Maybe that's um, part of an issue that I need to look at, so. Okay, so if you will, if you're painting with me, would you now that I can see the comments, throw up some hearts if you're painting right now. And then if you're not, if you're, if you're gonna paint later, will you um, throw up hugs? I just wanna see the difference and who's painting now and who's gonna paint later. Thanks, Melissa. I'm gonna go back and read all your comments because I'm sure I'm missing a bunch, but wouldn't it be nice if Alexa would read these out while we're painting? So this is where I'm putting the gray is where all my snow is gonna be. And I, I don't want to cover up all my buffalo plaid, so I'm just kind of putting it, you know, around the tires and are kind of under the truck. Okay. Now, once you've done that, we're going to paint the truck. Of course, I did red for Christmas, but you do any color you want. You can do aqua, black, green, brown, gray, you, you know, just whatever. So, and now that I'm thinking about it, I think I am going to put a thin coat of this chalk paint under my red because I know it will make it have a, um, a better base. Again, not required, but I'm just gonna put some where I know I want um, a good coverage. And I'm gonna put it pretty thin so it dries really fast. 
And as you can see, I'm not, I'm just kind of swiping it on there. It's not going to be perfect. It's just to give it a little base. Does anybody else ever do this? Just putting a, a coat like that for better coverage. For the window, I am using, um, it's a folk art, passion gray, and it's chalk paint. You see that? But um, normally I use white, so I'll, I mean, or I'll put gray and a little bit of white and maybe even a little bit of blue swiped over it so that it looks like a little reflection. So just use what you have um, or the look that you like. I've seen people use black too for windows. Black is fine too. It means maybe they're tinted windows. So, okay, so that's my little base for my red. So while that dries, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the truck. No, I'm gonna do the wheels next. So you've got some black on your palette. I'm gonna use my round brush for this one. The flat, I can tell, would, would be too large for this area that I'm gonna, I need more control, so I'm gonna use this round one. Go in and do the black. Hey, Kathy, you're so welcome, and yeah, I'll watch the replay. Hi, Jeannie. What multi-surface? Acrylic paints be okay. Yeah, would multi-surface acrylic? Yes, absolutely. Um, there's not that much difference in the two, to be honest. I get good coverage with both, so yeah. Sand brown, yeah, yes. Oh, that'd be so cute, Rhonda. Do you live in the sunny southern or California or what? She's saying she might do brown down here instead of, uh, you know, sand. I mean, it, she's gonna do sand instead of snow, which is super cute. You could even put a little snowman with a surfboard off to the side, cute. We've had a couple of, hi Jeannie. We've had a couple of um, artists do the summer themed art like a snowman on the beach and then we had one that was surfing so yeah cute cute theme yes Jeannie, i see this truck everywhere already and things are just starting to come out oh Rhonda, honolulu oh man can you tell i want to go to hawaii someday i just want to be sure i've answered anybody that's i got a question chalk paint yeah you, do you not use it usually, Lori? I think I just used it as an accident one day to see what kind of coverage it gave me because um, I had some and I liked it. And again, on the wheels, don't have to be perfect. And you can cover a lot. These whimsical paintings are very forgiving because you can cover a lot with your details and with snow. You just get creative. But if you look at other whimsical paintings you see when you go to Kirkland's or Hobby Lobby, I'm telling you, they're not perfect because that's the whole appeal of this style is carefree, loose, fun. No pressure, just stress-free. So will somebody type in the comments if you are, like somebody do some hearts and some hugs. Hearts for if you're painting with me, hugs if you're gonna do replay. And then somebody's gonna have to type and tell me if they see it. Hey Brenda, Aunt B's in the house. Um, I just wanna see, cause I can't see anything going up. I just wanna checking to see if what's wrong with my view. Yep, Aunt B's in the house. She brings the party, so you're a little late to the party, so let's get this thing going, girl. If you guys don't know Aunt B, oh man, she's a dear. You need to go find her page. Aunt B, will you put your page in a comment so that people can check you out that may have missed your unit? Anybody else that's watching this that is an artist in here, put your links because 
I want everybody, you know, you might see something that maybe it doesn't appeal to you, that craft, but go check out their page because most of us do a variety of different things. Hey, Tina. Um, so, yeah, I want you to be sure and check out everybody's page. When you find things that resonate with you, then go like and follow them. If you follow them, you will get to see their posts. If you just like them, I don't believe Facebook shows you their work. So it's important to follow as well as like. Which, by the way, I'm doing a drawing during this live um, for anyone who has, there was a little quiz that you did and it said if you're following my page, if you've liked and followed and signed up for my email. You don't have to do any of those things, but the ones that did, I do want to reward you guys. And um, I have several giveaways. I've got this cute little you see, truck and tree that I got at Hobby Lobby last year. I just thought it was too cute. And it's like what we paint, so I grabbed that. I've got things like that. I've got some cute ornaments, and I just want to say thank you for liking and following my page, Art and Grace, and um, I love giving stuff away. If shipping didn't cost anything, oh boy, it'd be bad. Shipping's what gets us. Okay, I'm spending too much time on the wheels. I don't know why. I'm just going over them and over them. Okay, I'm gonna go over this truck now because it's the biggest part and it's totally dry. So I'm gonna do my red. In fact, let's do a different color since I've already done a red. Let's see, what would be good? Blue or aqua, I did an aqua. Okay, I'm gonna pick a couple of colors I've never done. never done this is aqua metallic and this one is a pretty fuchsia pink so put in the comments aqua or pink and I'm gonna paint a different color on this truck I've done several of these red ones and I've done a light aqua I've done a real light pink and they were super cute but this time I just spur of the moment decided I want to try something different so aqua or pink what do you guys think and it's metallic aqua so it will be pretty but the pink is pretty too so anybody tell me what you think I see a pink aqua aqua oh dear two aquas three aquas pink Yeah, I'm like you, Debbie. Either. Favorite colors right here. Tammy says pink, aqua, aqua, pink. It looks like a tie. I'm going to need more of y'all to, to vote. Aqua. Okay. Hmm. Aqua may be winning, I think. Oh, Melissa's voting three times. I got you. Or four times. <laughs> hey, Tony. Tony, break the tie here. Aqua or pink? Brenda says, Aunt B says aqua. Man, I better do what Aunt B says. Okay, Aunt B rules. I'm doing aqua. She's one of my, one of those ladies I look up to. And she's a, a great lady. Aunt B, did you put your, did you put your Facebook page in here so we can check you out later? Okay, so whatever color you're painting your truck, just load it on your brush. And we're gonna start here at the front. I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna be concerned if I go over, because again, we can fix it. But I'm gonna, you know, I'll be sort of careful. And I can tell this is a beautiful color, but I'm going to want some lighter shade in here because an old truck isn't going to be um, super perfect. It's going to have some 
variations in color. So what I'm gonna do is add some white and lighten this color up. So just mix the two together. When you wanna make a darker shade of, a, of your color, just add some white to a little bit of it. And then if you wanna darken it, add a little bit of black, just a tiniest bit of black. I mean, I'm telling you, it doesn't take much. And that'll darken it up, and that way you have some variety and your truck isn't just one color. Now you can make it one color, I'm just saying, if you want to. So I might just put some swipes in here, like that. So let me show you what that looks like. See how it gives it just a little bit of difference and it doesn't, the truck doesn't look brand new that way. I'm gonna go right over my joy because I'm still gonna be able to see it. Plenty to be able to trace it later when I'm ready for the wreath. What are you guys gonna put in your wreath? Because I put joy inside here, but you can, um, you could write your initials, you could write 2020, you could write um, your last name. I mean, there's so many things you could write. So what are you guys thinking about putting in yours? A word or a name or a year? Anybody have any ideas? Yeah, this aqua is so pretty. You know, for fall, um, there's gonna be a lot of this turquoise color and uh, green. I'm seeing lots of green and lots of soft blues, but it has a tint of aqua. It's really pretty. So just getting it on there. Not perfect by any means. I'll show you up close in just a sec. Peace, that's a good one. What else is anybody gonna write? So, um, Jeannie's gonna do peace, I like that. We sure need that, don't we? That That's really actually a really good word for this year. Um, that's, you know, I was trying to think how, um, when, I know a lot of you probably know this, but my mom passed this last year and art gave me such a, such a peace because I'm, I was able to use it in a way where I prayed, you know, I would pray while I was doing my art and man, God spoke to me. So it was like this beautiful gift he gave me of the art and just of his presence, which gave me the peace. And so anyway, um, art is so good. If you know anybody that's going through a rough time or hurting, you know, for any reason, um, you should suggest art because it really has the power to, to bring comfort and peace to people. Not like God can do, but it's a, just a different, you know, kind of peace that you quiet your mind and kind of forget all of the problems in the world and forget what's going on out there and just focus on something good and something nice for a change. Now I'm gonna switch and do these bumpers, but let me show you how my, my lines are not perfect. Can you see how I would go over a little bit, you know, different places? So it's not perfect, it's fine, because we're gonna do a lot more to it to where you can't tell. Isn't that a pretty color, y'all? And yes, Marty, me too. I could not get through this life without him. No way, no how. Hey, Martha, how are you today? Last name in 1996. I love that, Debbie. 1996. So is that the year you got married or what is that? And Aunt B established 1986. I love it. So you could put EST 1986. Yeah, cute. You guys have great ideas. I, that's why I love asking questions. I love hearing, um, you guys have so many great ideas. So I don't know if you've done these things before or if you just really have cool ideas, I love it. That inspires us, you know, artists that paint and are always trying to come up with something new. Love hearing ideas from other people.
so just you can't really tell that this is the fender but you will when I'm done because I'll show you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go back and lighten some parts up and I'm just kind of doing it haphazard not an old truck that's been sitting outside or you know even just if it's been in a garage it's not gonna look like a great paint job so that's what I'm going for here I've done some that are perfectly pretty and neat but this one I'm making look a little bit old so it's gonna have some light spots now I'm gonna take that pretty um, aqua the metallic turquoise and then I'm adding just a dot of black and if you watch can you see my brush when I say dot I mean it's a tiny dot and work it in and then yes I need a little more so I'm gonna go back in and do another tiny dot because once you get too much you then you have to waste a bunch of paint to try to get it back down but see that darkened it up and that almost makes it a gray color um, which I like yeah it's a gray color with that blue as the base so it really is pretty and matches well I want to see you guys that paint even if you paint it way later I want to see your pictures so bad I want to see what colors if you did it red or if you did a different color hey Sharon um, I normally do red but I just got this wild hair and decided to I asked a question if people wanted the aqua or the pink and I think the majority was aqua and when I beat and beat chimed in aqua I did it it's called teal by deco art it's dazzling metallics and um, yeah, it's just a really pretty metallic -y teal color. So that's what I went with. But do red or do whatever color you want. I was gonna do red, but to be honest, I have like three red trucks in my art room and you know, I need to give some away because I just don't need that many. I have my paint in a, <laughs> um, I can't remember what was in here. I am a recycler, so I use everything and I don't remember what came in this. I just don't remember. But anyway, when I saw it, I was like, oh, that'd make a great paint tray. And let me show you another inexpensive idea. This is the um, ice cube trays you get at the Dollar Tree. And so for $1, now I know this one's filthy with paint, but when it dries and you're done, you literally just can do this and it, just you peel it out and it pops off almost in one piece. So that's a really good way to, um, to do your paint. And then I'll just take it into the kitchen and scrub it with hot water and then the rest of this comes off. But yeah, reusable, $1, so I like those a lot. Thanks, Sharon. Chocolates, that makes me hungry. Yes, chocolates will be pretty. <laughs> Brenda, go hard or go home. Thanks, Heather. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, I was going to do red, but just switched. Okay, I think I'm sort of caught up. I'll go back and read all these comments. But thank you guys for leaving them because it... It's really hard when you're just painting by yourself and you don't know if anybody's there or not. Um, it's nice to see a comment or two and especially, you know, if you see something you like and tell me that's encouraging. But if you see something that I'm doing that's wrong or you don't like, tell me that too. I'm perfectly open to suggestions. I am not, I am not above it for sure. Okay, I have that the way I like. I like that it looks aged and I am going to go a little bit where that wreath is going to be. I think I'm going to lighten up that fender just a tad here. Just in spots like sun's, you know, gotten to it. Okay, so washing out that brush. And then I'm going to get my smallest brush. Um, I'm gonna do, so this is just um, a small, this one's a five, 
number five. Can you see that? Yeah, small detail brush. But use what you have. Just use the smallest one you have on hand. And I'm going to go back in with, I think I'll do a base of the chalk paint. Now, if you don't have chalk paint on hand, that's fine. I, that's why I didn't put it on the list because nobody needs to go out and buy chalk paint. I just have it, so I'm going to use it. But use white as a base. That's what I normally just grab my white. So you'll put put it there where the light's going to be of the headlight of the truck. You'll put it across this running board, which I just realized I made a mistake. I'm glad y'all are here to see it so you see how easy it is to make a mistake. Okay, so I, this actually should be the fender. So I'm going to paint that in. So do you see what I did right here? This I had left, you know, white, like I was going to paint it white, but no, that's actually part of the fender. So I just added the, the color right on top of it and then we'll add some snow later. So nobody will ever know except for you guys. Mistakes can easily be covered up. Let them dry. When you're painting and you feel like it's going sideways, just walk away, let it dry. And then you can go back over it. And that's where I recommend the chalk paint because <laughs> it's a great cover, um, better than just a, a white. So let's see. Oh, Rita, I'm so glad you're here. How did your live go? Did you have fun? Uh-oh, Vicki lost audio. I hope that not everybody has. Y'all type in the comments if you can hear me. Hi, Julie. I'm glad you're here. Can y'all hear me? Type in the comments yes. Or I guess if you can't hear me, you don't know to type no. I'm just painting this running board um, a gray. You could paint it white. I'm covering over any lines. It doesn't matter. Oh, good. So, Julie, you can hear me. Yes, Rita. I love, I love, I was telling them earlier how God just gave me art as a way of helping me heal with my mom. Going through Alzheimer's is not for sissies. It's, it's a really, really rough road. And so, art really helped me deal with all of the stress of that. If anybody's going through that, especially if you're new to going through it, feel free to reach out to me on Facebook. I, um, I love praying for people that are dealing with it because I just know the loneliness, the hard days and nights that you have. And I love um, being a support for people that are dealing with parents with Alzheimer's or anybody with Alzheimer's. Um, so, yeah, I'd love to help you if I could. You know, if you want me to, I'd love to be there for you. But anyway, um, yeah, God has just used art in my life in so many ways. And he was the first creator, so he built in us um, a desire to do art. And there's all kinds of art. It's not just painting. It's cooking. It's dance. It's music. It's so many other things. So um, explore anything you want to. And I think you'll find when you find your thing... That really truly we are we are blessed with that gift. Hi from Wilmington, Ohio. Hi Linda. I didn't know that's where you live. Wilmington, Ohio. Oh Julie, you have? Julie's worked with Alzheimer's patients. And Brenda, yes. Brenda's mother in law. I know Jamie's mother in law is going through some aging issues and it's it's a hard time it's a real hard time and especially for you guys that are also juggling families and maybe children and on top of that you've got a loved one with Alzheimer's it's very stressful so you need some support and you need some time for yourself okay I'm gonna move to the tree and I asked you guys to have a green 
So I'm gonna take some green and I want a couple of variations of that green. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that green and take a little bit aside and then Actually, that's got a little aqua in it. That's going to be a real pretty if it'll mix. I don't know if there's any, enough in there. I'm going to take a tiny bit of black, like I showed you before, just a dot, and add the, add that. And just get a little, a little bit of green that's a darker shade of green. Yeah, that looks, looks good. Trees aren't all one color, so I like to add a little variation in there. And then I probably will take one and add a little, I would do white, but since I have all this gray on here, I'm gonna do the gray and lighten it up. That's another thing that I always say, use what you have. Don't, you know, don't worry, don't stress. Don't say, oh, I don't have that shade of aqua. You just use what you have or can get, and it's all gonna be pretty. Oh, hi, Beverly. Don't be sorry you're late. I'm just glad you're here. Um, this, these are these are all for you guys. So, um, okay, so let me just share the, the base here. What I usually do is I'll kind of just swipe on, not perfect, just like this, to get a base. So I'm just gonna swipe on this darkest shade. This is what I call easy tree. So I'm just swiping on to get a base. Then I'm gonna go into the re regular green, just, you know, regular as it is with no dark or light added. And I'm just randomly, I'll kind of turn my wrist so that my brush strokes aren't going the same way every time. Some will go up, some will go sideways. And I try not to, I try to hit the white so that I'm not going over what I just did. If you lay down the darker color and then you immediately go over it with your brush, you'll blend it into just one color. So I try to just, you see me kind of quickly dot it and lift it up. And then I'm gonna go into my lightest shade and I probably need to make a little more. That didn't make very much. I'm going to take this lighter shade and then I'm just going to go back over it. This time I'm going to use, and I'm kind of roughing up my brush so that it's not, see, it's just, it's, I don't want it to, be, if you do this with your brush, you're going to get it all flat, but I want it to be pouncy. And I'm just going to go with that lighter, just here and there. Now, while that is drying, um, we'll go on and do something else. But then once that dries, then I'm gonna go back and actually make branches. So Beverly, I'm just glad you're here. Don't worry about be being late. Um, I think most people are gonna be watching these on the replay. A lot of people obviously work during the day. Um, and can't, I, I always, when I work full time, I mean, I can never catch anything live, so. No worries. Mary, how are you today? Glad you're here. Anything anything good going on? Hey, y'all tell me the best thing that's happened to you this week or this month. I need to hear some good news. I know there's good things happening, and I would love to hear about it. Okay, so I'm going to do, I'm going to um, kind of add to my window. So what I'm going to do is add a little white or like, um, I don't know what you'd call it, like the reflection on the window. And it doesn't take very much. I'm just using a tiny, tiny bit. You can use any brush for this, but I'm using my little flat brush. Just a little flat brush. And I'm just gonna kind of swipe it across like that. And I did hit my green by accident in my tree, but it'll be okay. So just kind of swiping it to make, you know, the reflection. Trying to salvage that. I 
I don't have a baby wipe handy, but if I had a baby wipe, I could wipe that away and it would be gone. So a baby wipe is a really good thing to have in your arsenal, just to keep on hand and have them while you're painting so that you can touch up, you know, go over something if you want to. So anyway, um, you get the idea on the window, just swipe, swipe, yeah. Okay. Also, the tailpipe thing. Is that what it's called? Tailpipe? I'm just going to touch that with some silver or white. Either one. Okay. Now, if you have um, in your, you know, if you are a crafter and you have paint, you can use a silver metallic for this part. Um, if not, use just use your gray and white or black and white and make gray. So that's what I'll do for this one. I'm just gonna, but the silver's really pretty. It's a silver shimmer. This one is Deco Art Silver, but it's, and it's the Americana Multi-Surface Metallic. You see that? But I use this a lot. It's just a really pretty metallic color. And it, I think it's perfect for fenders and bumpers, but I didn't want to have anybody go buy that just, you know, for a little project, so. But it, it is cute if you wanna if you want to. So I'm just trying to make these prettier circles. And if you want to, you can take something round and take a piece of chalk and just, you know, set it on, do this, and then set it on where you're wanting that circle, and it leaves that little chalk. So that's a good way to have a quick, easy, you know, guide. Um, or just find something round that you can trace. The lid would probably be the, per yeah, the lid is the perfect size. But you know, we all have things around the house that are small and round, so it's easy to find. But you know, like I said it before on the whimsical paintings, I don't really want them to be perfect. It's okay to be, I just, for me, I don't care. I think it just adds to the charm. I wanted to read this real fast. Oh, dear Jeannie, you're a hospice volunteer for 12 years. God bless you. That is so amazing. Um, yeah, I've heard that hospice work is some of the hardest, um, hardest work there is for nursing or for any, I guess any anybody um, it's very emotional so it's not just physical work but it's emotional as well so you have to be a strong person to to do that thanks Teresa I love this color too I just like I said I got on a wild hair and decided to change and do something different and I love freeing people up to do that just do what you want do what you have Match a decor, match a bathroom, match a utility room, match whatever you want to. Doesn't, you know, just because you see something one way, you can do your own thing. I think a white, I'll put a white around here. You don't have to do this. It's just kind of an extra step, but I think it'll make that gray look prettier. Hey, Jen, I don't think you've ever caught my live. I'm so glad you're here. You've been in the pool today or the lake. And if you have popped on and have not yet told me where you're from, just tell me what state you're in. I love to know where everybody lives, you know, and what the weather's like there. It's just interesting to see who pops in and go back over that a little bit okay so let me show you what we have so far hi Char here's the one that we were gonna do or we, we are doing but I did tell everybody that we have I've had a lot of red 
that I've done lately. So I'm doing mine teal, but a lot of people, probably most people are doing red. So there's the color. I hope you can see it well in the light. It's real pretty. And we're not done. I'm gonna do a, um, my tree is nearly dry, so I'm gonna keep going. I got the window. Oh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make up, make the tires a little messy because this truck is gonna have snow all down here. So we know the tires aren't gonna be perfect. So I'm gonna get a little brush and get a little bit of that white my white and just kind of turn it kind of on its side and just kind of scratch it up but real light light-handed at first but it, you know as it drives it's gonna get snow all over it so that's what I'm doing And my truck is dry, so I'm going to go and put some snow on it. Let's do that. So get your white. About run out of places to put in this big one. So when I do snow on a truck, you know it's gonna accumulate in certain spots and then it'll kind of drip down in others. So that's just, I just kind of use my imagination and think it's going to, I'd like for you to see this good. I'll try to paint, I'm gonna try to paint like this for a second. But it's gonna accumulate here and then just kind of dip down in places. Does that make sense? So accumulate up here and then just kind of trail down a little bit. And then if I don't have enough, I'll go back over it. Some people might have snow techs in their supply closet. Snow techs is an actual textured paint, glue stuff that you can use and it will literally kind of feel and look like snow. So that's kind of fun to use. But we definitely get the same look and when it's up on a shelf or on a wall, nobody would ever know. So just kind of make it imperfect. I finally quit coughing, y'all. Thank, thank you. Somebody said a prayer for me because I finally quit coughing. Okay. So that's good on that. And the truck's going to have some snow up here if it's been sitting in the snow. I'm gonna run down there and sit up here. You know what I just realized? Okay, so your buffalo plaid line is coming this way and I need to put a little there. So I'm gonna dip into my gray real quick while I'm just here. See what I did? Easy peasy, just kind of trying to keep with this one. So it's not just stark white in there. Beverly, Florida's hot. What's the temperature? Oh, he won't let you drive it by yourself, Jen. I, yeah, I mean, it's honestly, it's not safe, is it? So I don't blame him. He's good to protect you that way. So that snow just sitting on there. I'm gonna put some snow there. Snow on the tailpipe. Snow on the running board. See how just just kind of mess it around. I mean, I don't even know how to explain it. Just you're just taking your brush and just kind of da -da 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 -da, dotting it and dragging it and until you get it the way you want, like the look. I'll do collection kind of on the hood. And since that wasn't perfect, I had gone outside the line a little, that snow covers it right up. That's why I say don't sweat the small stuff. Can you see that I made a mistake right here? Do you see that blue? So I'm just going to put a little snow. 
trailing right there. So there's no reason to worry about, oh, I ruined my painting. No, you didn't. You know, it's all good. Okay. I'm going to take a bigger brush and paint this snow down here. Just go over that. These are chip brushes you can get for a dollar at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or Walmart, or you can use just one of your um, flat brushes is perfectly fine. In fact, I'll use that flat brush since that's what probably y'all have. I dried it off. I took all that water out, so it's just a dry brush now. And I'm just gonna get into that white paint. And I've got quite a bit of heaping amount on here. And I'm just going to put it in and kind of swirl it around. I like to see the paint um, strokes in here. You know, just, I don't want to smooth. You could do this back and forth and make it all smooth, but I like kind of more of a swirled look for snow. But you do what you like. If you like it smooth and straight across, do that. ever do the hearts or the hugs because hi Chrissy I'm so glad you're here did you take your test are you done um throw up hearts or hugs I just am dying to see I'm trying to trying to figure out why I can't see them and then somebody tell me if there are some going up because I just can't see hi Karen how are you glad you're here are you painting Chrissy or, or um, Karen, are y'all painting? Somebody tell me, are there anything, is there any hearts or hugs going up? I can't, I'd like to know just out of curiosity. Maybe I haven't done something right on here, but. Oh, Chrissy passed. Chrissy is my friend that just took a realtor exam and she passed. I knew she would. No, she would, no doubt. But it's just nice to have that over and done and you accomplish something you set out to do. That's such a good feeling. You're painting something else. Well, I'm glad you're here with me watching. Okay, so you see how I'm just trying to free you up to, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just get it some on there. Play with it if you want to see if you like it smooth and even. And if you don't, then go back and make it swirly like I'm doing. And you'll see how this will cover up. Like, say you didn't like your tires real well, then you just bring the snow up a little bit on there and cover them up a little. That's why I say it's very forgiving and you can, you can fix a lot of mistakes just by covering with paint. Okay. Now let's get some branches on our tree while we let that dry. And when you're painting, don't put your, be sure not to lay your arm down. You see this? I've done that multiple times and I'll have marks, but um, just always go about it almost as if you're writing with a pen and your arm is up so that you're not flat like that. First thing I'm gonna do is take the round brush so if you have something like this, that'll work. Um, you can use your flat brush and I'm gonna use that next, but I take my round, my round one first and go into my greens. And I'm gonna mix up a little more of the dark. So just add a little black in here. Linda, are you gonna do red? 
for your truck. Um, I changed at the last minute, but yeah, um, the red one is super cute for Christmas. Super cute. Okay, so on, on this, I'm just going to want to get in some branches that go out. They're going to kind of go down and out. I'm going to see if I can attempt to do this while holding it towards you. So down and out would be like this. So like that. So I'm just going to quickly do some swipes. And it's just the first few that I do are just to give me the idea of the motion that I need to go in and kind of just the starting point. <laughs> Dropping my brush. And I won't I won't really go over my truck bed too much. But I'm just getting someone here as the base of my branches. There's a lot of ways to do trees. I love the Bob Ross way. But for simple whimsical paintings, you need to keep it simple and whimsical. I wouldn't do like a real detailed tree. So you've got that base of your branches. Now I'm going to go back with another color, just the straight green, and do some of those. And you can practice on um, like a piece of paper or, but if you start and then lay your brush down and then lift it up, see what a cute branch that makes? So load your brush up a little bit and then lay it down, press, and then let it up. So you can get a good, um, you know, where it's bigger at the, like it would be on a real tree, and then gets smaller at the, at the tip. Linda's not certain what color she'll do. Do you guys decorate your house at Christmas like in a certain theme, like, red and black or red and green or gold and black or you know there's so many options i saw it on hobby lobby's website they've got a lot of cheetah print is that what it's called yeah leopard print for um, leopard print for christmas so tell me in the comments what you like what you're typically how you typically decorate at christmas Okay. Traditional Melissa. Who else? What else do y'all, what do y'all think? Um, I always do, I would say I, we have two trees. We have a little skinny tree that I do, you know, kind of fun and just depends on my mood. And then we have the regular tree that's traditional and has a lot of the kids stuff and from when they were little. Somebody else is watching. Tell me what you, what's your tree, what you like for your tree. Okay, so the tree's done. Hope y'all are well, I guess most of you are going to be on the replay, so you can speed it up or slow it down or whatever. I'm going to do my star, and if you have gold, do gold or yellow, um, but my star is going to just be like a, I think I'll do a white. We think white. Maybe I'll do kind of a silver. Silver makes sense. Angel said, we usually decorate our tree with the kids, old school ornaments. Yes, I love that. And you know they love it. 
kids get to see their stuff on there and they love it because they only see it once a year usually. And I don't care how old you are, you know, if you're 20 years old, you still like to see, oh my gosh, when I was kindergarten or whatever, it's so cute. So keep those things, mamas. They're special. So I'm just doing um, the white and then, oh, Linda, that's so cool. So Linda's daughter's 51 and she still uses the decoration. I love that. Yeah, that's why we love going to mom's house because it's almost like time stands still sometimes. You know, you go back and see things the way you grew up and it's such a comforting feeling. Okay, so got my star. I'm going to move to the wreath. Now, here's where I'm going to show you my trick of how I put chalk on the bottom. So I just chalk up. Um, you have yours drawn on there, right? So if you can still see it. But this is a great chance. I can still see mine too, but I want to show you. This is how I actually made that circle for the wreath for you guys. You see? It's a faint white circle, but yeah, it's enough that you can tell what you're doing. So let me show you on a piece of paper how I do a leaf. For this, I just go kind of the same as what I showed you earlier, where you put it down and then let it up. Put it down, let it up. And it forms the perfect little leaf. So practice on some paper if you want to um, until you get it down to how you like or go for it and just do this. You know, just do a mark. Because again, on these type of paintings, you really just want the illusion of a leaf. It's not that you're trying to make the perfect leaf. So you can certainly go for it. And I'm gonna darken mine. I'm gonna use this darker green. So just, if you want a little darker green for your leaves, add just a touch of black to your green. And then I switch. So I might do one leaf going one way and then the next one going the other way. And I can show y'all up close. Closer. But you're letting the brush do the work. Char, you do a different theme every year. Elegant. Oh, I can totally see you as an elegant tree lady. That I bet it's gorgeous. In fact, I will love to see her base trees. So once I get it on there, I look and see if I'm happy with it. What do y'all think? Does it look good or do you think it needs something? I think, I think it looks okay. Um, I probably will go back and add, does it Bunny? Hi Bunny, I didn't even know you were here. Glad to see you. Thanks Melissa. Um, sometimes I'll go back and just kind of, like, maybe I don't like this part, so I'll add in another one, like right there. It's really just eyeballing it and what looks good to you. You know, so you just kind of get it toward something that you like and you like the shape of it. Sorry, my light is flashing. Hope that it doesn't go out. Thanks, 
Brenda. Thanks, mate. Is it, how do you say your name? Matey? M Matey? Mate? I, I'm terrible. So, will you tell me how to say your name? I don't want to mispronounce it. Thanks, Beverly. Thanks, Linda. Thanks, Tina. Okay, thanks, Chrissy. Um, so, got that on there. And then I'm going to go back with a lighter green. So, just take, you know, some green and add some white to it. If you have yellow at your house, you can add a little yellow and it becomes sort of a little bit of a lime green. But this white and green makes a real pretty light green. So then I'm gonna, I'll show you what I do with that. Okay, so I'm gonna just go kind of on each leaf and just kind of do a little swipe. It'll be in different spots on each leaf. I might do, um, see how I'll do the inside of this one and then the outside of that one. I don't know. I might go right down the middle. I just make it, you know, a little bit different on each one because you don't want it to look completely the same. And then because my truck is aqua, I can put red berries. So on this one, I just had to leave it green because the red wouldn't have shown up. So this one, I'm going to squirt out just a, a dot of red and put some berries. So for the berries, the back of your brush is the perfect dotting tool. So just take it and just put a little bit, you see, just a little bit on the dot on the end and then dot it on there and then you may have to reload. Try not to put too much and I try to barely touch it because I can always go back and add more but if I get a big old blob then it's just kind of, you're kind of stuck. Y'all like the red berries? I think the things like that add a lot and I like them. What do you think? And I usually will let that dry um, before I try to write in the middle of it. Oh, you guys will make the cow. I can I can totally teach y'all how to do the cow. It's easy. Yes, Tracy. Super, super nice little trick there. Oh, Brenda, you're funny because you make it look easy. Thanks, Angel. Thank you, everybody. You guys are so encouraging. I appreciate that a lot. Okay. And then I'll just keep looking at it. Let's see what I need. So, star, snow, wreath. Uh, anything that y'all see that I need? I know I need to outline it. Here, let me show you the snow up close, the way I did it with just turning my brush so that it's not just one smooth. And because it's, um, we just did one coat, you, you can go back over it, and I will go back over it. Um, what I usually do is do a little bit of a shadow. Okay, so in real life, you're going to have a light source. So let's say that's the sunlight, and it's coming this angle. So it's, you know, coming down on the truck and the tree. So this part of your tree is going to be lighter and this part will be darker. And this part of the truck will be lighter and then back here will be darker. And definitely underneath, right underneath your truck, it's going to be darker because of the shadow. So that's where I'm going to go darken it up just a little bit. So I'll just take my flat brush and get it dried off. I like a, I like it dry for this part. And I'm gonna, oh, did I get it right? So it's mighty. I love it. I love it. I love names that I haven't heard before because it's just so rare to find one that you haven't heard. That's so cool. And I definitely love to know what makes people like, you know, how, what's your mom, did she name you after anybody or, um, I tried so hard to be unique when I named my kids and I thought I was on the cutting end of something and yeah, so, so common now. 
Um, it's Madison and Austin. But back then, there weren't any. <laughs> or at least, I never had heard of any. Okay, so I'm going to put just this little darker gray. I'm just mixing to get the color I want. I don't want it too dark. But it is a shadow under the truck, so it would be pretty dark probably. Oh, Angel, you're so sweet. Thank you. I um I I could just I could do this all day, y'all. I really love showing other people, especially how easy it can be if we let it and don't make it overcomplicated. Uh, because that's when it's stress-free and stress-relieving. Okay, so I'm going to take this darker shade of, you know, kind of gray and go under the truck and the tires because there would be a dark shadow under there from not one bit of sun. So I'm just putting some gray. You do not have to do this step. You can leave it all white if you want. Um, I just, I like a lot of variety, I think, and so I just usually do that. And it's perfectly fine either way. And I'm happy with this, but if you are not and you think, oh, that's way too dark, I don't like it, then let it dry and go right back over it with white and lighten it right back up. So remember, it's just paint. You can let it dry and then paint over it. So now I've got some darker shadows under the truck. I'm gonna outline my truck. I will use, I usually use this small, I'll show you both. Oh yeah, it's my therapy as well. Um, snow on the tree, thank you, of course. I do have to put snow on the tree. Um, so I will outline this I actually think I want a few more branches on that tree now that it's dried and I'm just gonna throw in a few so bear with me a second but another lesson in you know you get it done to where you think you like it and then you look at it again and if there's something you want to add add it if there's something you don't like paint over it white take it away Okay, so I'm gonna add a few more, yeah, branches right here where it was thin. And... I'm really kind of covering that line of the Sharpie because I actually want my, br my branches to come out over that, I think. And if you remember what I said about the light, so the, the sunlight would be on the top of the tree. So I definitely need to just throw in a few light touches in there, which means mixing a little of the green and white. And then we'll get to the snow. If you guys are um, not following me, do that after this tutorial. Go over to Art and Grace and like and follow. You do have to do both to see my post. I think if you just like it, you won't ever see the post. But if you actually follow it, then you'll you'll should be able to see me. Um, because I I am doing. I just started a YouTube channel, and I am going to be loading tutorials onto it. So, you guys can be on the ground, <laughs> uh, what do you call it, like in on the ground floor and see it 
hopefully get better and better because I, I'm just brand new to YouTube or to at least to starting a channel. I've watched YouTube videos, of course, but um, so you see, I'm just adding a few down here, but all my light ones mostly will be on the sun side, is what I call it. Okay, so you see that? So most of the light branches would be like the sun's coming down on them and the darker are under. And I can go ahead and add snow. I don't really have to wait for it to dry. It's good to let it dry, but I'm gonna just go ahead and show you. Yes, Bev, there are so many, so many women artists, well, not just women, so many artists that want to share. And we, I think the majority of us have, you know, found it's helped us so much that we want everybody to know that and to try it and try it with your kids. Kids that have uh, learning disabilities or have autism, I have found, oh, not all of them. Some of them won't sit down and just won't do it. But if you find that they're in a place where they can calm down and do it, you might be surprised. You might not. They might it literally it just not be able to work. But it's worth a try. So do the very basic, you know, just get a few starter essentials um, and try it because what if that was something that they were able to connect with and could express themselves through art it may not be art like the world sees it but to them it's art and to God it's art and you know it could actually really help them so I really encourage uh, parents to try that and just see just see if it could be something that helps connect. Okay, so I'm just going back and adding these white. I'll let you look at what I do up close. I try to do a little, a little wiggle line is what I call it. So I'll put my brush here and just kind of wiggle. It's not a perfect line and it's sort of like a comma in a way, but I won't put near as many on this side because the snow would be coming down heavy from up here and most of this would not be covered as much. So that's my theory on, on having more snow up there. Okay, now I'm gonna line the truck and then work. I think we'll be done. I'm going to take the smallest brush I own. A liner brush is great. Um, they have some really great detail brushes out there, but this is what I'm using right now. I need to get some new brushes. Okay, so I'll just kind of go around the entire painting. I'm not going to go over the snow, so if there's places that I put the snow like this, then I just leave those alone. I have to get my brush wet for this part. You'll see I just kind of come in here and there because that tree's covering, so not very many in there. I'm not really using the best brush for this, is why it's, it's just, it's okay, but it's not what I need. You can, what I was going to tell you, you can use a marker. We have um, a Sharpie you can use. There are these. Oh, this one's terrible. Let me find a better one. These are called Posca is the brand. P-O-S-C-A. Uh, Uniposca. 
and these are great for outlining. This one is uh, too large for outlining. It's 0 0.9 to 1.3 millimeter, but they do have the small ones that are great for outlining um, if you don't feel comfortable, you know, with a brush doing your outlines. And then you can practice your outlines on something that, you know, just a practice sheet of paper. Now on these whimsical paintings, they don't have to be perfect. This is the door, you know, this would be how the door opens. So I'm gonna go around all of that. You guys still hanging with me? Is anybody still on? Okay. The bottom of the door is covered by snow. And now, now you can tell that's a fender that I put that. Oh, my tree doesn't have a trunk. Okay, good. I'm glad y'all are still here. Thank you for sticking with me. Okay, so for your trunk, um, I didn't ask you to bring a brown, so just take some red and green until you get the color that you like for a brown. And if it's not dark enough, you could put in just a tiny bit of black, but mine's gonna be good, I can tell. So I'm just mixing the red and the green and got a good shade of brown. And I'm gonna see the center of my tree is where it would be. So about right there and just slap it on. See, so it's a whimsical tree. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I just slapped on a little trunk. You can even take a little brown and go here and there through your tree for some dimension and difference in color. I'm gonna see if I can find that marker. I wanted to show y'all. I found one. It's not the one I wanted, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like to trace with this marker. So I will, what needs to be traced? I'll trace right in here. Definitely have to let your painting dry fully before you use this or it'll ruin your marker. Um, so let it dry all the way before you use one. So let's do the window too. I turn my painting often so that I don't get my hand in something that I've done. So see? The marker is a great way to do, do things if you're not comfortable yet. And I'm going to go, I just see one little thing. I'm going to put some snow on my tailpipe. And maybe on the tree trunk. Oh, joy. We need to write joy. And I'll use this. Um, for you. Let's see. I'm going to do established. Nineteen eighty six. That's how old I am. That's the year I got married. Crazy. It's a long time. And then I'm going to sign it because you always sign your piece, even if you're like, oh, but it's not good. Don't uh, sign it because someday when your kids find it, find it in the attic or wherever, they're going to love it. So do sign it. Okay. 
Okay, guys, there it is. What do you think? Do you like the teal? I hope you can tell the color. It's just really pretty. Okay, I'm going to move the camera up. Hey, so I really appreciate you guys staying with me and watching the whole thing. It was really fun. I have so much fun when there's actually people that are with me and I know they're with me. So thank you for sticking it out. Um, like I said, please go like and follow my page, Art and Grace. Uh, there's all kinds of links in here and you can also just search Art Grace Paint to find me. That's how I had to list it to be found. And I'm going to draw a winner. I have several drawings that I'm doing. I just love giving things away and you guys um, encourage me to keep going and to keep making art and having fun and sharing it with other people. So I have to repay you. And I have a lot of things I'm giving away. So just if you don't win this one, don't worry. There's several more coming. This one is for the people that liked, followed, and signed up for my email. So I wanted to do something special because I appreciate that. I take it seriously. I do not like getting a ton of emails in my box. And I know y'all don't either. So I usually do um, try to do one a week and anything special that's coming up or if I have a sale on something. So, um, and then the other thing I'd ask is if you're interested in being a part of my community where I teach little tutorials and show you tips and tricks and you can get some support and find other women that are like us that want to just have some fun and relax, then leave it in the comment that, you know, just whatever, just leave in a comment, yes, I'm interested or um, possibly interested or whatever. And that way when I form something, because I'm working on it now, then I can let you know, like, hey, come check this out if you're interested. So, um, let me stir one more time because I was talking and I, I've got these in my little truck. Which, by the way, I hope you're signed up to paint with me on the 20th. I'll be in here again doing this ceramic truck. They're so cute, and you can paint it any color. You can put anything in the back. Um, you can put some greenery and lights, whatever, but it's gonna be really cute um, and a fun, easy. I'm telling you, I was intimidated by these until I did one, and now your teenagers can do them. So yeah, join me. You can watch and just see how they're done, or if you're interested in purchasing a truck like this, and I mail it to you, and then you can paint with me. Let me know. Okay, so here we're going to take the first drawing. Oh, and this is what I'm going to send you, this cute little truck and tree. Okay. It is Lana Davis Norris. Lana Davis Norris. So contact me. Just um, leave me a comment here below. Or go to my page and we'll hook up so I can ship this to you. Okay. Thank you guys again. I really do appreciate it. And you'll see me on the 20th. And come over to Art and Grace and find me there. Alright. Thank you again. Have a good day.